RBS Basic Research Academy welcomes to you in the lecture number 7. In this lecture number 7, we are going to understand the one simple t-test. Dear friends, here you are looking a very beautiful uh, interface of the Jamovi where you are looking uh, in the test. So this is a, a t-test family. Uh, from where the three tests which are available in this one. Uh, independent t-test, paired sample t-test and the one sample t-test. On the independent sample p-test already my video is available and the image of that video you are looking here. If you find time, uh, please watch it. And then uh, another one is a one sample t-test. So in this video lecture number 7, we are discussing one sample t-test. My name is Dr. Raimbak Sumro and I am from Shabti University, Pakistan. Okay, so now we have reached on the another website that is about the Kent State University. So uh, now here some detail is available on the one simple t test. So in the one simple t test, it, it explains one simple t test like this one that uh, it's one simple t test explains whether the mean of population is statistically different. That means which you have calculated by utilizing the a sample collected from the population. So now the sample mean actually I am talking about this one and another uh, mean is our own hypothesized mean. So now it is our own mean. One sample t test is basically a parametric test. So now you know there are two types of the uh, tests are there. One are belong to the parametric category of the test and other tests they are belong to the non parametric test, uh, test category. So now parametric tests they always require some of the assumption to be made and while non parameter they have no only assumption to meet okay so alternative we call it is a sim single sample test okay so now here we use the test variable in one sample t test the, the variable is mean is compared to the test value now we have two mean one mean hypothetical mean which we are getting the mean which we are uh, hypothesizing the mean by ourselves and another mean which we are getting from the population so two means are there and these two mean we are comparing with each other and and another is about that so the test value may come from the literature review okay this test value you can hypothesize a test value even by reading or by going through a literature or a trusted organizations and organizations like the different NGOs are there different uh, uh, like the uh, like the IMF World Bank Asian Bank if they are providing any type of the benchmark like you can also trust on and then you can make that one as a benchmark as a, as a test variable all in legal requirements are in industry average normally uh, there are different industry averages are there so now those averages you can also take as a test variable and another uh, like the uh, mean you are getting from the population and then compare with each other okay if you come more come down then the, these are the common use and these are the data requirements which are very important for the application of this one Okay, the first one that uh, the data test variable that be continuous. That means that the data for the test variable either that should be the interval or the uh, ratio. Like the continuous should be continuous scores uh, and test variable should be independent. They have no relation. They have no any dependency on each other. Another important is a normal dis normal distribution data should be normal distribute distribute like the bell shaped data and there should not be any skewness, left skewed or right skewed. So this should not be there and then homogeneity of variance should be there and no outliers. So these are some important uh, uh, like the data requirements are if your data is meeting all these one then apply this test otherwise do not apply. And then another thing about the hypothesis you are looking here that there are two hypotheses. One is that population means is equal to the sample uh, hypothetical mean. Okay, and in the population mean is not equal to the hypothetical mean. So that is the formula uh, to compare, to compute manually if you are interested in this one. Now we are going back to the uh, Jamuvi, you are looking here. So now uh, we have to, uh, first of all, attach the data set with the Jamuvi. It's very easy, just data set here. Just click it, the data set has been attached with this one. And then we have to apply this test. Okay, uh, one simple t test. Okay, so now we have the two uh, data set up there, but at one time we have to use only one. So I'm looking for the, I'm working on the uh, Facebook hours. Okay, on the other one, you can work on the Facebook use in your free time. Uh, by the way, the link of the data which I'm using right now, the, the link has, I have left below this video file. Click on that link, you can also uh, approach uh, 
uh, you can also download this good uh, uh, data set it's very easy okay now uh, the different tests are there so now it's 20 tests so now that's a test one separate test is a you are compute through this one okay and then another the wilcoxon test so now wilcoxon test you can utilize when your data is down normal but this test is connected with the uh, pair separate test when you are applying the pair separate test then if your data is now normal alternatively you can work on the wilcoxon ring test okay hypothesis okay this is a test value i'm talking about this is a test value so, so this is uh, this is this, uh, like a sample of your population so now through your observation you are setting a one for the here that the facebook hours now being a teacher in the university i can understand that the, nowadays the my students they are uh, spending much time on the facebook so now i understand from my own experience i say okay every day students they are spending at least two hours this is my own hunch this is my own hypothesis okay our, any uh, from any other statistic you can also get okay the the and any any figure you are getting from anywhere you can also put here but i'm putting here data according to my understanding that every day student they are uh, spending at least two hours in using the facebook so that's why i'm writing the two hours so this is our test value okay and then these are the uh, uh hypothesis two tailed hypothesis that's why we should check this one there is no only missing value don't care about this one okay addition test mean difference and uh, uh, how much mean difference is there and you want to know either that is a significant or not then again this uh, you should select this one and in this effect size and either effect size significant or not you can also check this one descriptives if you want to get and normality that's very important and qq plot these are important so these are some of the uh, important uh, like the results are which you should get okay now uh, we are now here so one simple test and then uh, facebook hours so this is our data set okay now it's from test the name of the test which we have applied on our data so this is a t statistic 7.71 so now this value we have received by checking out this one okay this is degrees of freedom the degrees of freedom uh, normally we compute the n minus one so n is the number of observation 131 observations are there n minus one when you detect one from the 131 it becomes 130 and these are p value now p value is less than 0.001 okay now uh, uh, even though less than so now it is that means that our uh that same one seven test is a significant this is a mean difference so 1.43 so our actual mean power is, uh with the mean which were computed from the population by utilizing this sample size there's about 3.43 and our hypothesized mean is a two when you data two from three four uh three it becomes a 1.43 so this is a difference actually difference between the hypothetical mean and the population mean okay okay uh so now this is a lower and upper bound and this is a cohen's test detail so now it it calculated the effect the size of the effect the size of effect is 0.673 so how much that effect i'm telling you uh, uh, uh after this one i actually i have developed a one word file where i put all these things so the when we we'll discuss the in uh, when we reach on the uh, word file then i will tell you about the this uh, effect size now this is a lower bound and upper bound and then the this is a normal detail so this normal to say that uh, shows that our data is not normal but for practice purpose i have put this one up. otherwise if you are working regularly then this for your any uh, research then the data should be normal now how i come to know that my data is not normal so now this uh, indication is given the tip is given to understand this one the p value low p value suggests a violation of the assumption of normality so that's why now we have reached on the descriptive so now descriptives are clear uh, before you uh, that the 1.3 uh, 131 is a, a number of observation this is a mean this is a median strength air deviation so if you go down then the, this qq plot also shows that the data is no normal okay now uh, furthermore uh, how to understand either our which hypothesis has been accepted either uh, they missed the alternate hypothesis or actual hypothesis and uh, how to understand about the effect size for this particular purpose i have developed a one word file 
okay so almost uh, now these two tables now this table and this table i have brought here and they put here for your own understanding so now first of all we're talking about the effect size this one effect size so understand in order to, in order to understand effect size we have the rule of thumb impression like this one so here small effect uh, if the the value of the uh, like the coins d is less than 0.2 it means there is no effect other than we can say if it is a less than 20 percent it is no effect but if the, if the effect is uh, in between the uh, in between the 0.2 and 0.5 it means it is a small effect okay and the, if the effect is uh, between the 0.8 and 0.5 to 0.8 it has the uh, we can say that the medium effect but if, if, if effect is more than 0.8 8 or 80 percent it is a large effect so now uh, we can think that the where our value is lying now 0.673 it lying uh, between the medium and the large effect here so that's why we can say that the, there is a medium effect uh, on the uh, the means effect of this one is a medium okay now which hypothesis has been accepted now hypothesis are there uh, is not the now that this a population mean now a Facebook use so our hypothetical mean is 2 so that means that the mean of Facebook is equal to the 2 okay and uh, alternatively we are hypothesizing that the mean of the Facebook that means it's not equal to the mean so now our mean is not equal because there is a mean difference if there's not mean the difference then okay we can say so now we have to we have found sufficient proof to accept the H1 and to reject the H0 okay now how to report these results for your research paper okay now i have this type of the pattern you can follow any other pattern if you like it's not necessary that you should follow this pattern if you have any other one you can but here now see the colors of this one you can match this color with one so first of all student is spent on facebook 0.134 hours per day now 0.143 it comes from the here so now here you are looking that the color of the words and color of this line both are same okay so now 1.43 more more means that means a more than two if you remember our two like this one okay this is our hypothetical that means that every day the students they are spending at least 1.43 more than the uh, like that uh, our hypothetical I mean at least uh, we can say that it means almost the four hours they are spending per day 95 percent confident interval this is 95 percent and confident interval 1.6 and 1.79 these are the upper and lower bound on the facebook where aim aim is your median mean this a, a population mean 3.43 standard deviation is 2.12 this is standard deviation is there then the average two hours per day is spent by the all facebook user in the 2022 that means that the more than whatever i have to say is two hours but spending students are spending more than two hours and this additional 1.343 now one point this one additional minutes of the facebook time represent a significant difference from the average so significantly they are different from the average how because of this p value okay and then with a medium effect medium effect like this is our medium effect because it's lying between the 0.5 and 0.8 that's why okay and the t is a now t t is this one 7.71 and the 130 is a degrees of freedom okay so now p value is 0 0.001 and d's coins d or coins effect effect size is a this one so this is one way uh, through which you can report the results of your okay so this is a way now we are going back towards our jamovi so now we have reached on our jamovi software so now at the end i'm very thankful that you have watched this uh, video at the end of this one so at the end uh, i hope you like this video if you like this video kindly share it kindly subscribe my ch channel and if you if you have any question you can drop your question through this uh, video thank you very much